Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you the CSS3 colors and prefixes. So first of all, what is the prefixes and the CSS3 colors? If uh, many CSS3 properties are not work properly uh, in the browsers, in many browsers like Opera, Chrome and other browsers, Safari and the Internet Explorer, so the CSS uh, have introduced some prefixes if we write the prefixes before uh, the pro CSS properties so these properties work properly here let's suppose we are applying uh, some styles on this div uh, I have not created any div but it is just for example and here we write uh, example let's say color and here is the color is hash FFF and then if this color is not properly rendered in the browser then we have to write uh, the prefixes before this property here for the chrome and the safari we have to write webkit uh, hyphen webkit and hyphen so this is for the chrome and safari and uh, for the mozilla firefox we have to write moz and for the opera 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 whatever it is uh, we have to write o so it's o and for the internet explorer we have to write ms for the internet explorer so these are the prefixes if any property doesn't work in browser so you uh, can try these prefixes and the next thing is CSS3 colors uh, the CSS3 has newly introduced three color schemes RGBA HSL and HSLA uh, you have already done the RGB but the new scheme has the RGBA so here I'm going to create a div and here is the div and here is and here is the width here is here is the height is also 400 pixel and here I'm going to create a border is one pixel solid and black so now let's execute it so here is the div and now I am going to give it the background color by using the RGBA scheme here is the background and first of all RG write RGBA and a stands for alpha and R for red, green, blue and uh, E is just alpha and uh, close this C cleaner and now first of all I am give uh, we are able to give uh, the three colors three values 0 to 255 here I'm gonna write 255 0 and 0 red green blue and then we are able to give the value of alpha so what is the alpha have you remember the word opacity the opacity we learn uh, in the css the opacity is used to make the colors and the pictures transparent so here we are also able to give the opacity from 0 0.1 to 1.0 here i'm going to give 0 0.5 so now let's execute it so here you see that this color is transparent and if we write 1.0 value to opacity so it's completely red so this is the RGBA scheme and now I'm going to define HSL scheme so what is the HSL stands for H for hue and the S for saturation and L for lightness and here we have to write the brackets first of all hue is the angle of the color here i'm gonna write zero 
and then we have to write the saturation saturation is uh, you want to put the full color half color how many percentage of the color here I'm gonna write 100% and then you are able to write the lightness here I'm gonna put the lightness 30% and here is the semicolon and let's execute it so here is the color and the third type of the color is HSLA so A uh, I hope you understand what is A A is the alpha the opacity so here we are also able to put the opacity here if I put 0.2 so let's execute it so here you can see that this is opacity it changed the colors transparent the colors so this is this is the color schemes and prefixes if you have any problem so kindly add the discussion on Udemy I will help you as much as I can and in my next lecture I am going to teach you uh, how to make the rounded corners of the divs and see you in the next lecture